Okay, I'm going to see how this goes, and hopefully this does not turn out to be trash. Bolo! All right, before we get started, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and please turn on those post notifications so you will know the next time I have another video available. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you do not like this video, hit that thumbs down. You know, I really don't care. So as you guys can see, I'm in my hotel room right now. I am in Tampa, Florida, which is my hometown. And I'm actually here on kind of like a vacation slash business trip. Um, I'm going to be working with a lot of new artists from the area and I have a little downtime. So what I'm going to do today is something that I've never done before. I'm actually going to make a beat using my old iPad. Yeah, we got old trusted right here. This is the only thing I brought with me because uh, the tracks that everybody's doing tonight are actually pre-made. So they're already done. But I brought my old iPad because, you know, while you're on the flight, you know, you need to make something. You need to do something while you're on the flight even though the flight was only like an hour. But I brought my old late 2017 iPad. I left the other iPad at the house because I just didn't feel like bringing that much stuff. And plus, this is my travel mate whenever I go somewhere and I'm not really going to be producing that much. But what I'm going to do today is make a beat while I'm sitting in the hotel room killing some time and I hope this video turns out dope because I've never done it by just strictly recording everything on the iPhone and through the iPad and trying to sync everything up in a Luma Touch, Luma Fusion, whatever you want to call it. I don't have a keyboard. I don't have nothing. I don't know if I'm going to use loops. I don't know if I'm going to try to play some stuff out with the virtual keyboard. I don't know. I'm just going to try to have some fun and make a beat and uh, see if it turns out dope. So uh, I might be struggling through this, but hey, I guess if you're a producer, you should be able to produce on anything. So let's get to it right now. Okay, got beat maker three set up, got everything ready to go. Um, good thing I have this older iPad because my headphones just go directly into the headphone jack without having to use a dongle and all that good stuff. And I made me a little prop with the uh, ice um, bucket and a bottle of Aquafina to kind of prop my phone up here. And uh, we're in business. So let's go ahead and let's make this beat. Um, first thing as you can see is we have a loop and I have a few loops that I got from Looper Man. Um, if you haven't seen my video about having to import samples from Looper Man, check it out. I did it a few months ago and I'll probably put a link in the description somehow. I never really edited it without my laptop. So um, I got a Looper Man sample in here. Don't know the actual tempo. So let's go right here to the tempo finder. Let's see if we can auto detect it. And right now it's saying 77.28. So let's try to see if that works. So it might be around 77 BPM, around 78. So let's go ahead and just do um, 77 BPM and let's see if that works. Okay. And let's do that. And let's go ahead and cut this sample up. So we're going to go to slice mode, auto slice, split. And we're going to split this in half to eight. And Let's see if this is somewhat right. Ooh, seems pretty cool. But I might want to split this up a little bit more. Um, let's do... Let's do um, auto slice split. Let's do 16s in here. And let's go into here, select. And let's go to... Okay, so that's what it was. The um, tempo was 78 BPM on the sample. So now let's go ahead and go back in here. Let's turn live stretch on to high performance so that when we change the tempo, we can keep um, uh, the sample will basically lock into whatever tempo and we'll keep the uh, key range to where it doesn't speed up or slow down. So that's, that's a big thing. Um, so yeah, we pretty much have everything ready to go. Let's go ahead and go back to right here. And as you can see, I set it on key so I can actually go through all the individual samples. And let's put this on about 130 BPM and let's see how it sounds. Oh, 
That sounds good. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Sounds pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and loop that. And let's play that. And okay, so now that we got that, let's go ahead and let's put a clap with this. So let's go ahead, let's go to my Bolo 2020 kit. If you don't have my drum kits, y'all need to go ahead and get them. Get my Bolo 2020 kit or my No Limitations kit. I'm telling you guys, you need to get it November 1st. They are going up on price. November 1st, 2020, they're going up on price. So you better get them now. So let's go in here to the Bolo 2020 kit. Let's get a clap. Yeah, let's get, let's get that one. So now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add a hi-hat to it. So we're going to go into the Bolo 2020 kit. Okay, let's go ahead and put an open hat in there as well. So let's go ahead and put an open hat. Had to cut that hi hat down. I like it. The hi hat to cut right when the clap hits. Kind of gives it like a more openness to the beat when it does that. And from there, let's add an 808 to it real quick. Let's go ahead and add a kick to that. So, ooh. Let's go ahead and add like a little synth sound or something to it. So let's go ahead and add a synth to it. And let's go right here. <laughs> yeah. 
You can never go wrong with a flu. Never. All right, so let's go into Pure Simple Platinum. Open that up. And let's go right here to Factory Content. Go down to Woodwinds. Let's use the Tron flute. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of hard because I gotta use my hands on here. Yeah, I gotta play it with this and the key's kind of small, so hopefully I can get this in the first try. So let's, let's try it. chopped up the sample it came out pretty dope i went ahead and mixed everything in the headphones i didn't use any sound cards or anything let me show you what i used all you know this is the whole setup right here just the ipad headphones pl plugged directly in and then that was my <laughs> tripod or my prop for the cell phone to record me so yeah you can do the whole thing inside of the hotel room so let me go back here Thing is loud. Yeah, you can do the whole thing with just your iPad. You don't need anything else. Made something pretty dope. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something from it. I'm gonna put the beat at the end of the video. So you go check that out. Like I always say, peace out. Check out the beat, get my drum kits, and click on everything in the description below.